morning. Now 12 News does want to make sure that you and your family are staying safe, especially during this dangerous cold, and that includes keeping your home warm without causing a fire. Yeah, from extension cords to generators and space heaters, there's a long list of mm -hmm. do's and don'ts. 12 News reporter Cameron Burchett is live just outside our studios tonight. Cameron, you spoke with Beaumont Fire Captain Otis Brooks about his advice. Jordan, Brenda, listen, I'm going to have to go with Captain Brooks on this one. He told me earlier today that if you don't need to leave home, then stay home. But while you're in there warm and cozy, do you know the do's and don'ts of fire safety and heating safety? Carbon monoxide detectors, extension cords, and space heaters. The upcoming Arctic blast has all Southeast Texans preparing for the extreme cold temps. Captain Brooks with Beaumont Fire Rescue wants you to keep your family warm, but most importantly, safe. We've already seen a fire calls from an uh, extension card this year. Don't pile things up on it. Don't run extension cards under the rug. Extension cards are not made to be used for a permanent basis. It's made to be used for a temporary basis. Generators are a big topic as well, and it's paired with a silent killer, carbon monoxide. Generators are designed to be used outside. Okay, there, please don't put them inside and that includes the garage. If you run it through the window, uh, make sure you don't pinch it. Carbon monoxide and smoke detectors are two devices that can ensure your family's safety. That's something that can uh, give you a warning that something's wrong. Along with the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning. Headaches or you're feeling dizzy or nause nausea, get out of the house and call 911. If you have problems with your detectors, help isn't far away. They can call the fire department, and if they need help with it, we don't mind coming out. But in case of a fire, there's a way to help firefighters before they even arrive. Close the door, get everyone out of the house, and make that phone call. Life safety is always our priority. And as we've learned, the roads have already began to ice over. And Captain Brooks says if driven, you need to avoid highways and just stick to service roads. Live in Beaumont, Cameron Burchett, 12 News.